If I say that you have no limits at all, how would that feel to you? Whether you are a football player, a cricket player, or a runner, first listen to this. Maurice Green, a past record holder, four-time Olympic medalist, and five-time world champion, says that applying more force with less effort is the real key to success. And not just Maurice Green, the world-famous coach Bud Winter also said the same thing. Instead of 100%, you should put in 90% effort. This principle is exactly why Usain Bolt, even while celebrating in the 2008 Olympic final, kept his upper body completely relaxed. And in the last 20 meters, he clocked 0.82 and 0.83 second splits. Because of that same calm control, he created the 9.69 world record. And Asafa Powell is also a perfect example of this principle. So can we use the same thing to boost our performance like world-class athletes? I think yeah I, and no. But to a large extent, it is possible. And I will apply this on myself and show you the result. And in both conditions, according to every type of athlete. Let me clarify that this approach is different in the off-season and the speed season. So first, I need a cycle to explain Maurice Green's formula. If you feel that I'm giving you some value, then comment your event name below and also tell me where you're watching this video from so Maurice Green is talking about these two phases. Look, understand it like this. When I spin this wheel by hitting it rapidly, this becomes 100% effort. But on the other hand, when I hit the same wheel with force but with less effort, it becomes 90% effort. The biggest question is, how does this less actually work? It's not limited to just the wheel example. Science says, more force doesn't mean more tension, it means more speed of contraction. When you hit with less effort, your nervous system activates fast twitch muscle fibers more efficiently. Bolt's hamstrings or Maurice's calves contract more because they're not in overdrive. They're relaxed while producing maximum output. And this is called reciprocal inhibition. When one muscle group relaxes, like the hip flexors, the other group, like the glutes, gives full power. This relaxation itself amplifies force. This is the same reason why Messi or Federer stay relaxed until the last second. When they strike, the whole body channels force into a single point without tension. Maurice Green's coach, John Smith, once said, Force comes from the ground, but speed comes from how quickly you get off it. Meaning, when you hit the ground, the faster you get off it, the more force you generate, without slowing down. And for that, over effort is the biggest break. Did you know this? When I sprint with 90% effort, walk die with correct form plus clean push focus, my body response becomes completely clear. The force transfers directly in the forward direction. This happens because science says relaxed muscles contract faster. And when contraction is faster, ground contact time decreases, which directly improves acceleration. But if you try to do the same thing with 100% effort, tight face, stiff shoulders, rigid arms, your CNS, central nervous system, gets overloaded. The result? Co-contraction happens. Opposite muscles activate at the same time. Like the hamstrings are pushing, but the hip flexors are applying the brake. Because of this, injury risk increases, plus long-term performance does not grow. Meaning, when you sprint at 90% relaxed effort, you create the right challenge to push beyond your limits. The same thing real world-class athletes do, and many of you must have felt this at some point. Now let's come to the second phase. Your growth directly depends on how correctly you apply your force in the right direction. If you have a coach or camera analysis, then everything, foot landing, ground strike angle, stride length, stride frequency, every element can be fixed in real time. These are the micro adjustments Maurice Green, Bolt, and Coleman made throughout their careers. But if you're unable to analyze or you're not getting any guidance, then the real problem begins. Your body is giving effort, but the force goes in the wrong direction and gets wasted. Because of that, you won't be able to unlock your maximum potential or it will take way longer. Sports science says in simple language, without direction, force turns into noise. And direction is created only when you do analysis plus technique review. If we understand it in simple words, Maurice Green's formula says only this, relaxed speed equals real speed. 90% effort doesn't mean applying less force. It means keeping your muscles so free that the force converts directly from the ground into your forward push. 100% tension, the body applies brakes. 90% relaxed force, the body accelerates. So the rule is simple. Direction plus relaxation equals peak performance. If you've watched my video till here, then you definitely learned something. So love you all and I'm asking only one thing. Which topic do you want the next video on?